What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is June 29th and yesterday the Giants ended up beating in this first game of this two game homestand the Detroit Tigers with the final score of 4-3. to three. Carlos Rodon pitched six innings only allowing one run and seven hits. So and he had four strikeouts also so he is not having as much strikeouts as he used to, but at least he did pitch really good and he ended up getting the win in the end. But it was not easy. When he ended up leaving, it was only 4-1. to one. So the Giants were doing pretty good. And I mean, the Giants were up 4 nothing at the beginning and they were looking pretty good and their offense was doing decent. They had in the first inning of this game, they ended up knocking around the starting pitcher for the Tigers, ended up having Longoria hit a two-out, two-run single. So that obviously had to have felt really good for Evan Longoria. And Evan Longoria right now, I've been sensing that he has been starting to heat up, and hopefully he is. And he had that really bad slump for a little bit, but it seems like he's been starting to try and break out of that slump. So he did really well. And then Mike Yastrzemski ended up having a two-run, two-out single also in the fifth inning of this to make it a 4 nothing game early. And then Miguel Cabrera hit a single that ended up making it 4-1. to one. Then in the seventh inning, Carlos Rodon was all done with his night. And what happened is that John Brebbia ended up coming in, who is a decent pitcher for us, but he started this thing that ended up becoming what Giants bullpen does, which is not very good stuff that the Giants bullpen does. And what he did is ended up giving up a double and then a double to start it off. So having a man at second with nobody else and already allowing a run. But then he got a three outs without even advancing the runner. So I was like super happy for him. And then in the eighth inning the Giants weren't able to score anymore but then in the eighth inning Dominic Leon came in he got two very quick outs and then he gave up a walk a walk a single that scored a run a walk so that made it the bases loaded and then what ended up happening is that one of my favorite pitchers for the Giants right now one of my favorite relief pitchers is Camilo Doval and Camilo Doval ended up doing very good. He ended up striking out Shoop or something like that. I don't know how to say his name with the bases loaded and two outs. So, I mean, I was super happy. And then he ended up stopping that. And then in the ninth inning, he came back in and made it so the Giants could secure that win. Carlos Rodon could secure the win. He got the save. Camilo Doval did. And I'm just... I was super happy with what happened. It should have not been this hard at all to beat the Detroit Tigers because the Tigers are having a little struggling year. But, I mean, the Giants also are starting to kind of get into a struggling part of this season. And hopefully it will end soon. But, I mean, they just lost 2-3 of three to the Reds at home. And so it felt really good to go ahead and beat Detroit in this first game of this two-game series. So with that being said, I'm going to give out my player of the game. And it's gonna be I know that this should only be one player but I can't really think in what the heck it's my rules so my two players of the games will end up being the first one as Camilo Doval because he ended up coming in with that with those bases loaded and two outs and ended up striking out the shoot or whatever so that made it so the Giants could go ahead and still be up four to three going into the ninth or eighth inning, bottom of the eighth. So, I mean, that was really good. He did a really good job of controlling that damage and making sure that the Giants could win this game. And then he got that in the ninth inning, he got the double play by Javier Baez to make it a ending of the game. And so he is my first player of the game. My second player of the game is Mike Yastrzemski. One of his best defensive games that I have seen. He just did outstanding. He ended up getting Javier Baez on the carom that ended up bouncing right back to Yastrzemski and Baez tried stretching a single into a double and he just threw it incredibly great to the second baseman to get out Javier Baez at second. So 
And then he ended up having a two-run single, like I ended up saying, in the fifth inning. So he's my second player of the game. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Go Giants, and I will see you guys tomorrow.